Welcome. Let us start by evaluating some more log expressions today. And um, let's start with this guy. Log base 3 of 10 times log 54 minus log 2. Okay. So I'm just going to keep this right here for now. And, oops. That doesn't look like a 0 at all. Oh, that's better. Log 54 minus log 2. Um, we can combine them and make it log 54 over 2. And 54 over 2 is just 27. Okay, now I have log base 3 of 10 times log 27. Um, I, um, I actually I would love to see this uh, base here if I could. Could I do that? Well, let's do something interesting here. Let's break that log 10 base 3 down into log 10 over log of 3. We can do that. Log 10 is actually just 1. Right? So log 1, because the base is 10. I, p I picked base 10 for both of them to simplify things. And so 1 times log 27 is just log 27. And so we have log 27 over 3. Hmm. Oops, log 3. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, log 27 over log 3 is equivalent to log base 3 of 27. Now, 27 is 3 to the 3. So I can actually bring the 3 down. 3 log 3 of 3 is equal to 1. Wow, just that took a lot of space. Hopefully I'll have room for the other questions. Okay. Um, interesting question here. I'm going to start by actually making log 5, or log base 5 of 8 into log 8 over log 5. Log 25 base 7 into log 25 over log 7. And then log 7 base 8 into log 7 over log 8. And here we go. Um, I'm multiplying all these guys, so I can actually cross, uh, basically cancel out anything that is on top of anything that's on the bottom that's the equivalent. Um, that would be different, of course, if we had any addition or subtraction. But we don't. So log 8 over log 8, you can cancel those out. Log 7 over log 7, those cancel out. Log 25 over log 5 is going to be equivalent to log 25 base 5. And log base 5, 25 is just 5 squared, of course. So you can actually bring the 2 down. Log 5 base 5 is just 1. 2 times 1, 2. Huh, let me just <laughs> have a little bit of room left for this question. Um, Okay, so now I can actually combine these logs because I'm adding them up. And I'll need to multiply the contents. a to the 5 times a squared will be a to the 7. Because every time that we multiply something with a similar basis or equal basis, we can actually just add the exponents. So we have log a to the 7 over log a to the 4. Okay, now what I'll do is actually I'll bring down the exponents. So we have 7 log a over 4 log a. The log a's can cancel out, and we end up with 7 over 4. Hopefully that made sense to everyone. Thank you for watching. And if you'd like to see similar questions, you can go to this website right here. Have a great day.